Mrs. Moody, John Wheeler here. How you doing? You have got some nerve calling here. Yeah, I was just at your daughter's wake. Where were you? What do you want? Hey, Lewis. I'm John. Yeah, boy. What? Why would you have Lewis? No, look, there's been a change of plans. Now, you put Lewis back on that bus and get back. Sir, I don't know you. Yeah, well, I don't really know you either. You knew my mom? Yeah. Hey, you know how to drive? <laughs> I'm blind. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, the first rule of gunfighting, if I have the gun, I have the control. What about the boy? I'm taking him to live with his grandparents. What's in it for you? There's nothing in it for me. You got many secrets? Yeah, plenty. This is a joke, right? John. Protection in jail is very expensive. Why do you live in your car? Because I can't afford anything else. Just keep it running, I'll be right back. Jump in the driver's seat. Wait, what? Beware of false prophets who wear sheep's clothing, because really, they are ravenous wolves. A wolf? You call me a wolf? You and me make a really, really good team. If there's any place on Earth you could run away to, where'd you run? I'd probably go home. Lewis is using you, just like he used me. And open up the door. You need me. This is a job. This is work, driving you home. I don't want anything to do with you. You know, it'll all be over soon enough, all right? Why'd you have to die? State police looking for an unidentified man and his teenage accomplice. Get out! Hands off the boy! I made a lot of mistakes in my life, but they were my mistakes, nobody else's. Get out! 